Hello everyone. So today I'm going to talk about a question I got from a client the other day, which put me to sweat. <laughs> Literally, I had to do a lot of research to figure out what was going on and find a workaround. So essentially, the customer said that the custom views behave really weird. Uh, in certain situations, they couldn't explain what those were. What those were. Uh, and I found out that it's actually a predictable behavior. And essentially, I talked to the engineers and developers of Tableau, and they said it's by design. So I'm gonna show you what is the issue and how you could uh, mitigate this uh, potential problem depending on the user flows you have. So the first scenario is when a user goes to a view, um, they're using the Tableau graphical user interface to, 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 to use the product. And essentially they go to a view that is a base view without any filters. And then eventually they can click on anything, change filters and so on. And uh, maybe they create a custom view and at some point they will want to uh, call a custom view, right? Maybe they, yeah, they have saved the, the custom view in this flow or a previous flow, it doesn't matter. They wanna be able to activate the custom view and it should essentially, of course, show the filters and parameters and everything saved in this custom view. So in this scenario, um, I created a custom view that has just one filter. It uh, that's the same uh, thing would work with multiple filters and the filter points to a region um, called Midwest, and it correctly loads in this case. So that, that is the normal behavior Tableau, Tableau has been optimized for this kind of scenario. So let me let me show you in action what I mean. Um, it's pretty normal stuff. You have here the base dashboard. You, I loaded it without any filters. By default, Tableau loads the original view, which is the default view. It doesn't have any filters. And in this case, right, as you can see here on the right, but the main point is that I, I can go and activate a custom view at any point and it will work. Right? That, that, is, that is the thing here. I can go to South, uh, North, everything works. And then I can go here as a user and I'll say, oh, I want to go to my saved view Midwest, which in this case happens to be just saving one field uh, filter Midwest. And it, and it loads properly. So that, that is the normal user flow. That is the normal thing. Now, it starts to get messy. if you all of a sudden have a company where everybody's sharing links of um, you know, uh, the, uh, views that contains filters in the URL. So predefined uh, custom, uh, predefined URLs where they set filters and they say, hey, look at this view. And it's very, very common in, in embedded scenarios because you might have a user that starts in a dashboard, they click on filters and they go to a completely different dashboard from a completely different workbook that happens to have a similar set of filters and the application that embeds Tableau has been built to carry over those filter selections to that new view. And all of a sudden, though, they, they will see the new view with those filters, but if they try to activate any custom views, it just doesn't show the values of the custom view because it pretty much gets stuck to the, the filters that are coded when loading the views. And I'm gonna show you that right now. So let's say if I start from scratch, I have the base URL and I've been sent to open this page. Let's say we region equals West and Tableau will show the original view, which is not really the original view. Say so it, it, it is really the, well, it's applying the filters, right? So it's region equal West, regions equal West. Let's say, okay, but then I, I start to interact and I change filters and I go, to uh, south, northeast, I can change a bunch of filters. And eventually in my, my workflow, I will decide, oh, wow, I, I already had a, a custom view for Midwest. Maybe I want to activate that right now. And in this scenario, because the view was loaded with region, we comes west, that over, overwrites anything. So unfortunately, the cu custom views button completely behaves uh, from an end user perspective incorrectly because it's not showing the values for that custom view. It is pretty much stuck to region equals west. And that is not the typical user flow or uh, well, for users browsing through Tableau server. You rarely starts from a URL with URL parameters, but it, it is a very common case in embedded scenarios. So, so I'll, I'll talk through the ways you mitigate that issue so uh, because essentially you can't if you if you are intending to 
uh, allow to expose the custom views options in an embedded solution. You shouldn't load the view with filters uh, uh, on load because otherwise the custom views won't render the expected results. So let me just uh, show you now uh, how things would look like in an embedded solution. I mean, this is a ridiculously simple use case. It's just a dummy page with a Tableau dashboard embedded. And I'm going to start here um, with uh, the piece of code to embed Tableau. I'm, I'm embedding a base URL, just like in the first example, without any filters. There is an options object here, which I could pass some filters in the initialization. Um, oops. So, but it's commented out. So right now it's just going to load the base page. So you, you see the same behavior that works. Okay. When the Tableau users go to the graphical user interface, so load the base view. Uh, in this case, it doesn't have any filters. They will go and change, let's say to West. Um, and then they will decide, oh, wow, right now I want to go to my custom view. Um, I mean, either you are exposing the toolbar in the dashboard itself, so they could navigate to the custom view or you are putting uh, buttons in your app where you are embedding and you are exposing those custom views here uh, on your own UI. So with a little bit of JavaScript code, you can uh, yeah, call that custom view pro programmatically from JavaScript. So I, I can enable the Midwest. So let me hit enter here. And you see that it, it does load correctly in this case because we started with a view without filters. Great. Now, if we do carry over filters. Remember, the user flow is the user came from a different page that contains a different dashboard, but it, it, they set some filters. You store the states of filters in your app, in your application, and now they go to a new page in your application, and they and you have to uh, launch a different dashboard, maybe coming from a different workbook altogether, and you are gonna uh, you are passing those filters on load, which were carried from the previous uh, state, right? Um, that that should work at, until now. So if I save and reload, you 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 absolutely can start a view with passing filters, uh, just like I did right now. No problem at all. So you, um, yeah, but but if now you, you also expose um, perhaps here uh, like the list of custom views or, or here in the toolbar, in this scenario, this is not going to work. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's it's always going to default back to West. As you can see here, I activated via clicking in the built-in menu here to go to Midwest. It didn't work. I, I have saved another custom view here uh, just with the region equals south. But again, it's stuck to West because that, that, is, that is by design. It, it is not a bug. The, the product hasn't been built for this scenario, I've been told. Uh, it's optimized for the case when you never load the trees with filters. Um, and, and then activate a custom view from that point on. Uh, so how do you go around this problem in an embedded solution? Well, you definitely, um, um, if, if you do want to expose the custom views, right? Uh, and, and you do also need to show filters on load. Um, so you do show filters on load. Um, I mean, if you're carrying over filters from another a page and, and, and you display the initial state like this with the filters uh, like West. But now if you, you do expose custom views, when the user clicks on that, first of all, you, to be able to expose the custom views in your custom UI, you already went through the list of uh, custom views available to that user. You definitely need to do that anyway because you, you want to expose this to your users. And, and you did something like this, um, um, which I have here uh, written here. So you probably wrote a piece of code that goes to the workbook and get the custom views async. This is a client side call, a JavaScript call in the context of the user. And, and then you're going to uh, get all the custom views back. This is a JavaScript promise. And you do whatever you want, you want with the custom view. In your case, you're probably building the menu here with the options. So in my case, I, I have this little uh, dummy function here just to uh, report on the custom views. What I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, print in the console. Let's not do this window here. We're going to print in the console all the custom views, the name of the custom view available to that user in the URL. So let me just run this now. So it's going to get the custom views. Um, uh, yeah, I have to save and load again. 
uh, because I removed that window alert. But yeah, let's call that custom view. So so then it goes, okay, well, you have mid, Midwest and that's the URL. You see it's a different URL, right? Okay, so when your customers click on this button uh, in your app, you're not gonna, you're not gonna uh, fire, um, you know, and, and load this. Um, uh, you, you could you could use a function in JavaScript to switch to this custom view, right? You could you could like I said you could do show custom view Midwest, but that's gonna gonna it, it's not gonna work. So you're not gonna use this. If you do initialize your visualizations in JavaScript with filters, what you have to do you have to first dispose this viz object, then you load a new viz object uh, um, using this URL. Right, you, you basically dispose the existing one, then you grab this URL that they clicked, uh, and then that's that's what you're gonna do. It so you're gonna select this guy here. Uh, that is the URL for Midwest, which you got from that loop to build your menu. Uh, then you load it without the filter. So it's either one or another. The, more, the moment they click the custom view button, you dispose and create a new one without passing filters here, uh, and load the custom view. And yeah, that, that's about it. Um, otherwise, in the normal case, you just load the view with the base URL, no filters, and you pass the filters in. It's either one or another. So that, that is the simple solution, uh, very easy to implement, and I hope this was useful for some of you.